do. Hi, Maya. Hi. What are you doing there? I'm doing a watercolour. I'm painting this lovely Henry Moore sculpture and looking through it. Mm. I've done a lot of that sort of thing, um, those sort of watercolours where you're framed or you're looking through something, through a tunnel to the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be particularly resonant um, over the lockdown period. I mean, I don't know, I've got a few here. That one was one I did here. Uh, it's under the tunnels, uh, underneath the bridge there. Yeah. And, uh, I love the colours, it pops up. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, I love it pops out at you. I love the light. You say it's all about the light for me, so the dark and the, the blue, the richness of the light. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found, like, through this pandemic thing, I started off doing lots of watercolours. Mm. And they were all the light at the end of the tunnel, that idea. And, and it resonated. Lots of people were buying them. And I think it's a bit like the process we've been going through. So after that, I've been doing a lot of, of self-portraits. Mm. I did a whole project of self-portraits every day. So it's like the fear, you're looking forward, and then the self-analyzing. <laughs> Probably the transformation at the end, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about self-analysis, you, have you changed a lot over the years in your practice and, you know, when you started to now? Oh, absolutely. When I was a child, I grew up, it was a misogynistic era. I was a young girl in a family full of boys. Mm. I never felt like my voice was being heard, because mm. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. and then I thought, you know, I thought, well, maybe if I used a different medium if I started painting then people could hear me more easily yes. and that's how I started painting and and it went on I was really trying to find myself through painting and then it's trans, trans it's moved again transformed again mm. and now it became about what unites us all rather than looking for me mm. I was like looking for what unites humanity yeah. <laughs> really and um, is that nature? Well, yes. Well, yes. There's a lot of that in your work. A lot of nature, and yeah, it's also about the stillness. Yeah, stillness within that, like that one of your, with your son actually in the water, has also yeah. got that. And you managed to get the ripple effects, like yes, you exactly. know, capturing the movement of the stillness. I look quite a feat. I love the water because there's so much going on in it. So stillness is never still. Mm. Stillness, I would think, is rich and nurturing mm. actually so um yeah you look at the water you've got reflections above you've got like you can see beyond it you can see the trees you can see the sky yeah. that you can see the wind because of the ripples so there's so much in any little bit of water it's mm. so rich and full of life but yet you know in, in a painting that's always still yes yeah, yeah. and do you, is that is that a reflection of um what you like to look for in your work, like how do you feel when you're painting and when, how do you like other people to feel? When they... Well, exactly. It's, it's all about that moment of just letting go, let, mm. losing yourself. Mm. So yeah. when I paint, when I'm really in it, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what time it is, which has yeah. caused a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> been there for hours and, you know, I don't know how long I've been there. I just lose myself in it because mm. I'm so absorbed. Yes. And I think it's that thing of being absorbed. Mm which nature does mm. so easily, you mm. drop into it. Yes. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to express. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get you, but let you get back to your work. Oh, thank but, you. But what, what advice would you give to your younger self? Was anyone oh, here? definitely. Yeah. Be a little more confident. It was just, you know, when you're younger, you have that inner voice that's telling you things that is absolutely spot on, I realise now. Yes. But you always think everyone outside you knows better. So you compromise yourself yes. to, to fit in or whatever it is you think it will do. But really, if I only had the courage to really stay with what I felt, yeah. and, I, and yeah. you know, that would have been... Well, I, I, it's a process. I'm, I'm much happier now. I'm much more able to do that now. <laughs> that's, that's good advice. <laughs> I'm going to feed off that advice too. <laughs> well... Can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, well, I'll show you later. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Bye, Maya. Bye.
seem to me. Yeah. I mean, we People were all learning crafts and yes. You know, all sorts of and on the internet, there was a lot of there, there were a lot of there was a lot of art, art being put up. I mean, yes. fine art is easier. So. I suppose, you know, the the actors and people had more trouble with that. But yes, those that could. And it was and it was being there was like the artist support week, that lovely yes. you, you participated know. in that, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. And that was good for me. I I sold quite a bit, you know, and I was producing a lot. It was quite a challenge. So I, I'd set myself this challenge of doing like thirty works in thirty days. Wow. And what, watercolors or, or they were watercolors. watercolors yeah. So I thought, in my naivety, oh, I'll just start doing it. I'll do something in the morning, and I, then I'll get on with my painting. Obviously, so each watercolor has taken me between five and eight, nine hours. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do things that quickly, but I, I really loved it. I loved producing that much, and then I was getting a great response from it, and I sold quite a bit, and it felt, it felt like that's what people needed so when you can't be physically touched mm. you're looking to be touched some other way yes. <laughs> um yeah. so yeah i thought that, that, that i think that's the importance of art is that communication to everybody humanity it sort of talks to humanity yes, that's true what do you feel that you communicate to your art or do you feel that it's perceived by others and what do you getting across through it on that touching level well I'm, um, I'm always about I'm always I'm, I mean I can't get away from the personal so I'm all you know I paint my son a lot I paint my Hello, partner <laughs> I, I paint myself yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always said so, that I, I want to talk about humanity I'm talking about that human thing that connects us all yeah, yeah. so you know I, that's what I'm after really that's yeah. what I'm I mean, it's not just in art. I think about that. That's what motivates me yes. in life. Unfortunately, I'm not really motivated by money. <laughs> or I'd be a rich person, you know. But I'm motivated by that connection with people. Yes. That what we what unites us all. Yeah. Even in the audience today, you've got someone you painted without having met him. Yes. Well, yes, right? Kelvin. Well, that yeah. was another fantastic uh, um idea that in lockdown which was the nhs portraits and kelvin messaged me and we did lovely, we did we had like some facetimes didn't we you sent me some fantastic pictures and i did a portrait yeah and i was so pleased to get kelvin because <laughs> i felt we instantly connected there was like a real warmth it was perfect mm. it was perfect and I think in, in all of your paintings, there's this kind of uh, detail work that goes in. Yes. It's very detailed, almost a picture. And then you go close and you realize, no, there's so much texture and you can see the paint and there's so yeah. much in it. But there's, there's a lot of love and detail that goes into it. But how do you achieve this kind of fluidity between making it feel like there's movement and at the same time it's still? Well, uh, I... I mean, I just, I, I just paint, I just do the painting and I never want it to look like a photograph, really. I mean, I know it does from afar, but I, that's never, I never want to deny the materials. Yes. I love the paint. I love the texture of paint. I love marks. I, I, love, I just hope it will. Yeah. <laughs> I think your marks are very personal. There's nothing you can do about them. Yes. Your marks are your marks. So, okay, so through art school, when I was growing up, it was all about abstract art mm. and conceptual art, and my, of which I'm not motivated by. It doesn't doesn't move me. Doesn't I love lots of abstract art? It's not one of my favourite painters is Rothko because I mm. think he has that wonderful humanity, but it's not really. It's not what I do. So I tried to do that because yeah. I was at art school. Didn't really feel it. So I just kept on working from the model I would yeah. do lots of life paintings and whatever and yeah it's changed and over time I can't remember the question <laughs> um in terms of your marks changing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. well yeah that so it it was all very different but I felt like recently more recently in the last 10 years <laughs> don't know if that's recent um that I just I really don't care about anything about from what I want to do 
Yeah. I've become much more sort of, so I like to sit, I like to focus. I love, when I'm in my studio and painting, I love, what I like most of all is the ability to just, just dream. Mm. So Do you I, dream while you're at? Well, sort of. I'm in a kind of, yeah. I go into sort of, you know, I'm very focused uh, after I've wasted a lot of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I become, which I think is part of I it. I think it's part of the process yeah. of an artist is you have to wander a little bit, like That's to right. be in that space. That's right. Searching yeah. and floating exactly. before you actually exactly come land the physical somewhere. space. And then you start working and then the focus is there. But that, that dream thing that you went through all that wasting time to get to is still there. It's still yeah. working. It's still bringing ideas. So while you're actually painting, there's something else talking that just, it's like a side, it's something you can't help, like the marks. Yeah. But just like if you're channeling something at times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, I think every, like you sitting there, bring your energy with it, with you. Yeah. And your particularness. And that's, I like being immersed in my particular me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you create your zone. Yeah. Your space, so I just yeah. have the space to date. You know, if you're, yeah. if you're in that place, you know, being asked questions all the time, then you lose that door and saying, do you want, or, or disturbing you. You do lose, love. Yes, yeah. you lose that place. Yeah. But if you're just in it. Yeah. That's what I really silence. love. I like just Do you listen to it. music or do you have silence? I don't listen to music. Sometimes it depends. Sometimes I have silence, but often to get me there, I have an audio book. An audio book? Yeah. Oh, a story? Yeah, something. Oh. So not necessarily a story. It could be a, like, you know, someone I'm interested in. Yeah. It, helps, it helps to cut out that distracting thing, yeah. <laughs> you know of oh I must pay the bill or yeah. whatever you know so I just allow myself to be there yeah. totally and let change. this other part of me dominate mm. so tell us what are you doing at the moment where are you at with the what are you is there something uh, special that you're focusing on or are you yeah. into a new studio I have moved I've moved so many times yeah so many studio space is a real issue for artists yeah um generally artists can't afford much and space is difficult so i mean i know there's been a few articles about how artists being pushed out of london mm. which is true but anyway i've now found a, a studio which i love it feels really good to be there collage arts it's called in in wood green mm. um, and um, mars way <laughs> but anyway it's great and i'm working i've got a commission and i'm working on this commission it's huge it's like seven foot tall by seven foot bit. Is it what's the it's, are it's, you allowed to say yes of course yeah, yeah of course <laughs> it's similar to a painting i did before so I, I did a painting of a woman swimming floating in beautiful green water so she yeah. was central and the rest was the water and the ripples and the yeah. reflection this is two people, <laughs> two people. oh lovely <laughs> floating yeah. actually it was um hampstead ponds Oh, from Hampstead Pond. So, yeah, it's nice. Well, I hope it will be, it will be nice. How long does it take you to make it something that size? How much time do you... I really that? don't know. Yeah. It's something that can change. So I've spent about a month not doing it <laughs> before I could make a mark on it. Yeah. Thinking I mean, I about it, thinking think about how... Well, it's a bit dominant, you know, my, my studio is not that big and it's quite a huge canvas and it's sort of dominating my idea. So I have to like lose any fear of it. Yeah. And I was busy doing, you know, making frames and getting things, you know. Yeah, for, yeah. So, Do you make your own frames? No. No, I yeah. often buy old frames and then get my paintings to fit. Yeah, I like old frames. Anyway, so, yeah. so I was doing a lot of that and then now, now I've been painting it and it's good, it's coming, it's mm. coming, but yeah, it, you have to get over the, you know, dauntingness of this huge canvas yeah, yeah. looming blankly in my yeah. studio waiting for me. Well, you, yeah, that reminds me of what you said when you give yourself your own advice. Yes. What would that be that you'd give yourself right now? <laughs> just get on just with get it. On, just go for it. Yeah. I am now, actually. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been working on it and I'm now in the flow. Yeah. And it's coming. It's it, yeah, it's coming. It's hard to, when it's that size, to actually compose it properly. Yeah, and understand. Yeah, 
but it's coming. It, it's, it's underway. Hopefully, it'll just be a few months. Mm. I can't wait to see it. I yeah. really can't wait. Yeah. And thank you for being with us today. Oh, well, you know, you've been an inspiring, inspiring <laughs> artist. Well, obviously, I've really enjoyed everything I've done with you and for this, for this exhibition. I just, I, I want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity. I just love any opportunity <laughs> I have to show my work, to talk about my work. Yeah. It, it feels really good for me and I really enjoy it. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Your work is amazing. It's beautiful. It's thank exhibiting you. here and people have been really like, marveling at it. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and thank you for jumping in the deep end with us, you know, when it, when it was just coming out, you know, in the middle of lockdown and doing these films with us. I and loved it. We had to shoot yours, you know, a couple of times. We to had to do it. Right. Two <laughs> wind blowing that special day. So we got yeah. to know each other really well and it's been a really <laughs> wonderful journey with you and yeah. all the continue we're going to be watching watching you watching what you're doing so <laughs> oh <dear>. can't wait <laughs> okay thank you thank, thank you, you very much <laughs>